listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for X Factor. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest X Factor news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for X Factor. Hey, y'all, and welcome to After Buzz TV X Factor with a whole new group tonight. <laughs> Watch out. We have got some pretty hot people in our studio right now. We've got the beautiful Jessica King, Hi. our princess. <laughs> <laughs> and the gorgeous Marcy Smith. Hello. Hello. And Rana Jr. over here. I'm back. And who is it over there on the uh, kissing couch? We've got <laughs> JC Rubio. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, JC. Thanks for having me. I'm on the kissing couch with no one to kiss. Well, I might be over there in a little bit. Nice. I, 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 I need, I need a, <laughs> no, just a friend kiss. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Talk about kissing tonight. Um, who got kissed? Uh, Stacy. Stacy oh, by yeah. Simon Cowell. I've never seen him do that. Yeah. yeah. Ever. She, she was ready for it, too. Unless it's Paula. Unless it's Paula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paula. They have some weird thing going on. Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, y'all, tonight, okay, this was um, season one, obviously, uh, episode 11 and this was the top 12 perform in LA and I gotta say woo -woo! was it a woo woo? Yeah. A woo, -woo? Yeah. What a show. Yeah. we gotta scream oh, yeah. I mean the whole time I turn around because we're all watching it together right yeah. and I'm like I got chills y'all I got chills but yeah. we did what was the first scream tonight oh you yeah, you were a screamer tonight that was oh, for what? sure right? yeah oh my gosh who's, who's the first it? scream for was it for Josh no her no. scream was for Melanie Melanie no. was it for oh, Melanie, yeah. for Melanie. But, but even before the scream she did a couple like hands and the, you know I'm going to <laughs> yeah. the gospel yeah, yeah. like ooh child yeah. like, like, <laughs> and, but it was just every style she dug into some weird way like if, yeah. you, if you like it yeah. we could read it on your face and your arms and your and my hand yeah, yeah, everything and you would turn to me and give me the look you're like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's that good and I'm sorry this is where American Idol and X Factor do not compare like yeah. you've got X Factor and it is a show right. and I'm like yeah, bring it on. Well, okay. you know, you know, High it's infectious. Infectious if watching it with other people makes yes. you like, ooh, ooh, you know, versus just the performance itself. So. Well, I have to admit, Ronnie Jr., I do have um, a tendency to do this alone at my house. Oh. When I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, this is you anyway. No, okay. no, no. You y'all make me a little bit more excited and hyper. But talk about it. Let's get into mm -hmm. it. All right. Good show we're, today. We're gonna start with. Um, Stacey, who are we going to start with? Nicole. Nicole. Our least favorite judge. Our least favorite judge. <laughs> Did you call her Stacey? Huh? Uh, Marcy. Laura Marcy. I, 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 I responded I, as if that I, was my I, name. I was I like, just, she was looking at I me. I was like, I've been following you on Twitter. You're Marcy Alago, but okay, you're yeah. Stacey today. All right, gotcha. Hey, listen to me. You're fired. I am fired. <laughs> <laughs> I should be fired. What's in you're that fired. water over there? The Y and the I-E. Yeah. I don't know. Check Everyone's always asking me this. I think it's blueberry tea. Well, obviously whatever. we want to talk about Stacey at the end because she was pretty wild. So yeah. She gets uh, a number fail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're big on we hashtags. We are big on hashtags just like tonight's show. It was all all over Twitter today. Like, it was a big Twitter show. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, okay. Marcy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, okay. To, to talk about Nicole, I mean, Nicole, she, look, maybe she's not our favorite, most favorite judge, but she also is very, very passionate about her, her people and her over 30s, you know. Um, she started off with Leroy Bell. Leroy Bell is 60 years old. He's got two kids, six grandchildren, you know, a son as well, so he married again, mm -hmm. obviously. You got some and Ill illegitimate ch children, I, too. I guess so. Mm -hmm. I mean, but whatever. He, <laughs> he, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about him. I don't know. He might be the, the going nerves, pretty soon. The nerves are getting uh, the best of him. Confidence problem. He has yeah. the worst song choices ever. But, yeah. didn't, but didn't they, but didn't Nicole pick it? Yeah. Nicole picks her, his song. No, here's, yeah. the, here's the thing. I think he, he's good. I think he's good. But, in this show, everyone has to be great. 
you know, he's yeah. he's a, he's a singer and he's nice to listen to. But I mean, compared to everyone else's performance, I mean, they like stereo hogs. They're going after. They're going after that five million. Leroy is kind of just like he's doing his thing, but I would just want more. Do you think he's putting more pressure on himself? I mean, it's one of those things where he shouldn't have pressure because he's the only sixty-year-old. He should be like, I'm just glad to be there. And but he's I think not he, that well, type of not, singer, though. He's not a big production value stereo hogs lights and flashing and all that. He's like, right. you know. And Simon L- already to mentioned that he had low confidence last week, so that's probably in his head. Yeah. And for me, like, oh, I'm such yeah. a sucker for country music. Like, I'm obsessed. So I was like really hoping for something big mm-hmm. and it started off weak and i think it got really better towards the end but like you said like it has to start like amazing it has to and to and end you. amazing you know it can't it can't build slowly look so. i mean he's got so much competition it's 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 stupid there's and like, nothing memorable about there him. isn't and granted he has if he makes it you know to next week to sing again he's got to have something that separates him from everyone else. I yeah. mean, everyone else has their own niche. I'm sorry, they do. We can't I just mean, say every week, oh, he's good for being 60. Like, yep. that's getting <laughs> old. His, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, I mean, he's please. dressed so well for 60. His oh, niche is 60. But he's still hot. So. Yeah, but Ronnie, what's he going to do next week? Is he going to break out and to do, like, a dance number? Yes, I don't he's going to break dance. Yes. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's going to break I don't know. That would be cool. Head spins and everything. Him yeah. and Marcus That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, no, no, I'm kidding. I, I, don't, really, I really don't I just, I just think we got to admit that his days are kind of numbered. I mean, he's maybe three more weeks or so, you know? I would buy his music, though. I mean, I, I sure. like his totally. voice. Yeah. I just don't, if for the X Factor, I don't know if he is the X Factor. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we want to go to next Nicole's Josh Krajak. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I will buy man. all your I what now? The burrito, <laughs> the burrito, burrito man. man. <laughs> That's all I know him as. I'm like Josh, yeah. Josh okay. Burrito Man. <laughs> I have to bring this up. Like his mom brought him, like, remember she she brought him mm-hmm. all the way to the auditions? Where is she? Like now it's talking about his like so called uh, baby's mama girlfriend. or girlfriend. Yeah. She had a lot of exposure this, this exactly. episode, yeah. And he talked about her in previous episodes also. The mom or the mom girlfriend? Was at the house. girlfriend. Maybe mom it's just a storyline. Yeah. Maybe it's just a storyline. Mm-hmm. First yeah. it was the mom, now it's the girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Kinda like Daughtry. Daughtry had his you know, his girlfriend that he yeah. married and so hopefully this will be into a little bit of a storyline for him. You know, Maybe just peeling the layers like an onion. Wedding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a daughter too. That's right. He's got his R2. Anyway, um, forget all, all, all that aside. You he's fantastic. Yeah, you, lo- you love this singing, yeah. You, he's amazing. You were into it. Yeah. I would have cried, but and I was born without peer, uh, without tear ducts, so you know, <laughs> it did take me there. So there's that issue. That is I can hear him on the radio right now. Mm-hmm. Like I could see myself yeah. turning on like my FM or something yeah. and hearing him but on the radio. But he's another one I don't want to watch. Like he had that belt and his belly was I on was top of the belt. Like, what? But is that not going to make you? Sexy. No, no, is that not going to make you? I'm sorry. That's not sexy. No. I mean, being honest. There, w- there was a lot of comments in our room about his look, and I mean, at the end of the day, this is what this is why we like the LA Reid and the. Simon opinions because their opinions are 100% all across the right. board. It's the music, the vocal, the singing, the dance, the look, the dress, everything, you know. It's called he needs shampoo. to wear a Tommy Bahama. He <laughs> <laughs> well, needs well, to never solid. have a belt on like that. That's yeah. not sexy on him. Okay, Wait, outside that, of the belt, would you download his music? Would you buy his stuff? Yes. I would, I would buy his music just yes. as well so as point. Leroy's music. I would buy it. But well, I don't want to watch either of them. They're boring. Like, eh. I think he has a little more interest in him than, than Leroy. Like, not Leroy, for a con- like a concert or something. I, I don't think. Well, they can. You, I think you mentioned it a few weeks ago. He sounds like is it Ray? I, forget, I always butcher his name. Ray Lamontagne. Ray Lamont. Ray Lamontagne. Yes. Ray, but Ray Lamontagne is um, one of those. Go ahead. I, I cut you off. Would no, you? no. He's got that growl. He's got that gravitas to him that you just like. You're glued to him. You, 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 his voice is amazing. I yeah. turn on Ray Lamontagne. If for anybody out there who has not heard of Ray Lamontagne. Please go to iTunes and just listen like to part of his song. He is so fantastic, and this guy actually does remind me of him, um, and kind of the scruffy thing too going on. Mm-hmm. But Rather Montaigne well, is greasy. a huge star, and he's skinny. Wait, like. no, Ken. <laughs> what? Remind me because you did American Idol. Yes. Doesn't he remind you of our homeboy? Was it Adam from American Idol with the scruffy hair? He had the growl, and yes. They, they, what was his name? It wasn't Adam. It's Casey. No. Casey. Casey. He, that's exactly who he reminds mm-hmm. me of. I feel oh, like in the recent pa- season? Yes. I feel uh-huh. like they're repainting the same story. He has the same growl. He does. But... but wasn't Casey, Casey Abrams, what, I believe? Casey it, Abrams. Wasn't he oh. yeah. Goofy, which is a whole different element? Wasn't Casey Abrams... No, Casey Abrams had, had the crazy ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, wait, don't do that. Oh, watch out, y'all. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. This, this, this laugh I love. 
<laughs> okay, but what about him maybe singing something different next week? Because he's always gone with the strong ballad, but like, what if they give him like something up tempo or something? Well, then, Could yay. he pull it off? What's he gonna yeah. do? Is he gonna stand on the platform like everybody else does <laughs> no, on this show? Gosh. I, don't, I, I want him to see. I want to see him do the movement. platform. Dance. Hashtag no more platform, please. <laughs> yeah. Do the Rachel Crow. <laughs> Move like Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god! He's so perfect. Oh yeah! Please have him do that. Oh gosh! So but don't he, wear his pants. Uh-uh. So is he gonna take it early on? You no. Think? No, he's gonna. He's gonna. I think he's gonna last for a while. Hey, yeah. I was gonna ask you yeah. about his look. If his look's such an issue, they all kind of do makeovers in a way. I mean, he could. Somebody could work he's him out they, a little bit. They, they I liked his new makeover. Him. They he already makeover. gave him a makeover. That's, <laughs> it, that's, that's it on the makeover. He's not gonna get he no more. The lap he needs the lap band. <laughs> well, I'm not <gasps> even kidding. Oh, oh my god! Man. When they when they break for not everybody can be skinny. When they break for lunch, he doesn't have to eat everything on the thing. You know, he could get his look together. I just think he's big bone. Like no, he could. No, no, he worked at a burrito shop. Exactly. He needs to stop eating the burrito. <laughs> there are other things to eat. You guys are terrible. Yeah, we love. We, we do. We Does do anyone love. get Chipotle? Was anyone, they're they're actually the healthiest burrito place. Mm-hmm. At least All he's right. making healthy information. Choices. I know this is good to know. This is great good to know. know. Yeah. Baja Fresh Chipotle. Now we're hungry. This late in the hour. Okay. He's bringing the food, Jesse. <laughs> Okay then, we'll wait on it. All right. <laughs> so now we're going. Uh, let's let's. Talk, do, do y'all want to talk about what any of the judges said? I feel like Ellie Reid had the same thing to say about every single person. Which was like, you're getting better and better. You're getting yeah. better. Oh, better. He, was, he was Mr. Great most. Job. Everyone is most you know. improved. Yeah. And he yeah. did the finger. Did he did get the. Better yeah. this, this you're getting better and better. Better and better. Yeah. Better. Yeah. <laughs> but then he says it as if it's like a new revelation. Like, you know. <laughs> You're getting better and better. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but you just said that's the but, last person. But my singers are the best. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Not including my singers. You're one of the best I've seen tonight. <laughs> I love the song choice, though, that, sh- that Nicole picked. The Jar of Hearts. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is an amazing song. Oh. And to hear a man sing it. And to make it his own, that's what I love about the show. They make everything their own, Not, way more than American Idol does. I mean, yeah. American Idol, they try to. They're like, okay, child, you know, you sing the song your way. Please, they have vocal teachers. Okay, you know but I mean? are, are we... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, you would didn't know. Cut you. Oh, right, because I was on the show. Yeah, you're the yes. American <laughs> Idol expert. By the way, I'll draw you out there um, that didn't know she that Miss Marcy Idol. Smith... No. Was, she won, won American Idol, Idol in like, 05. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> what? I'm kidding. I'm as kidding. a guest, I would come as a guest. Oh, okay, Absolutely. gotcha. Yeah, every week. And I would be touring and stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Idol is more for middle America. It's I a mean, machine. I think that it is a machine. It is uh-huh. an absolute machine. X Factor comes from, you know, British. And, yeah. And what they do is completely different for artists than what we do here in America. And they, they yeah. make, like, icons and, like, you know, boy bands and girl bands that, like, go all over the world. We make people for the U.S., I feel mm-hmm. um, they're trying to make a world star, not right. like. No, but which is here. which is smart. And the other thing too, I know we keep on bashing. We'll get we're getting to it. You know, Paula's groups. You know, it's hard for us right now in 2011 to see groups because for us in our age group, it's like oh that was so like you know 90s early 2000s. Like we're so over that. But I kind of miss it in a way. I I'm think like, Paula's doing a phenomenal job with the group. She is. She's getting her. Well, it's all her. cycles, so it'll come back. See, right. so it's been a while since we've had the big group, so maybe it's time for them to come back. But I liked what they said about Glee, and how Glee has brought that circle back into our our generation again. You know what I mean? Because I mean, it was gone there for a while. But those kids' intensity. I mean, I know I'm jumping over there. They're too that, much. They're, just, they're overwhelmed. It's, it's I can't keep much. up. I'm like, it's, there's a girl that looks like she's two feet tall. Then there's yeah. that guy that's going through <laughs> puberty and over, over it's puberty. It's 12 to 17, but it doesn't look 12 to 17. No, it looks like the youngest is about seven. And it looks like the oldest is like 22. It can't be to 17 because last episode, one of the girls, when they were doing the whole like, just last week, I was in my home cooking dinner one of the girls was like I was going to college so oh, she yeah, has she to be say she was going to like college. over 18 <laughs> unless well, I was she's 17 like... when I went to college so that could be I'm just oh, saying and that's well, the group. Group. I wanted to go back to what Marcy when you asked Marcy about American Idol and the differences <laughs> I almost feel like I'm seduced by the production value of X Factor. That's what I'm worried the about. The production that, is so much higher. Yeah, and that's is that overcompensating for maybe? Oh, if, if you give that same production to people, who American cares? Idol. I don't who cares? Who so. cares? Britney Spears. You've got like it's Taylor Swift. But production. production, production. That's what they're looking for. I don't care if I mean because I'm sorry. There are people that were kicked out that were the best singers. Do you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter. They've got the yeah. it thing. There's yeah. something X about it. That's definitely why. more about the performance, the okay. whole package like, than that's it is why about that girl. like. 
like singing or anything. I get so passionate about this because I just do because of the fact that like some of these people, it doesn't matter just about the voice. It's like you could have the best voice and just stand there look like an idiot. Completely. Well, that girl that got kicked off last week. Simone. Oh, oh Simone Battle. Simone Battle. Yeah. Yeah. She was yeah. an awful singer, but, but she, she had the, the look, look and knew, it was knew about how to the talk. production. Yeah. Like yeah. she knew how to put on a show and that's exactly Did what Did anyone they were. download her song from iTunes? Oh, I watched no. it on but YouTube. I didn't watch it. Just because she said it? it? No. I watched it on I YouTube, did watch it. but I didn't download no. it. And it's but cute. I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> it's cute. He likes boys. Mm-hmm. He likes boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I kissed a girl and I liked it. No. Okay. He likes boys. Yeah, all the like... girl, all the guys she likes like, like, boys. like boys. Oh, that's the name of the song? That's that's the theory. Or her of the concept. Song. Yeah. Yeah. God, we have something in common. I gotta call this girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna schedule a live interview exclusively on Let me After just Buzz. Say My very first boyfriend when I was seven. Seven, um, seven years old. You were fast. I was very fast. <laughs> you matured. I did mature very fast. But um, he ended up. Uh, I was his first and last girlfriend, and now he's married to a man. First and last. Ooh, seven. Oh. You jacked him up that yeah. much at seven. Yeah. 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 Until twelve years old to really. Wow. He couldn't do any better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at it that way. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> you right. understand, right? I feel you. Oh my God. <laughs> so let's go on to the last girl of the night. Um, we're jumping because this is Nicole's, the same Nicole's group, Stacy Francis. Over 30, yeah. Mm-hmm. Over 30. Mm-hmm. Which was wow. the last performance of the night, yeah. It was the last performance of the night, and she killed it because Simon said, go to where it's comfortable. And gospel is comfortable and amazing and i didn't even know the song i'm sorry for all of y'all out there do y'all know either. it me either i mean no come idea. on i didn't know half them songs i was like what's that you know so much you can't know everything it's I okay know. it'll be all right so maybe someone could tweet us or call us a Jesse, little can just... you help us with this what was the gospel song no idea Anyway, it was gorgeous, Mm -hmm. and I didn't like the dress. Oh, my God. She had, like, spanks on. You could see it through the light. Like, it was awful. Oh, no. It was so bad. I mean, child. She had, like, this, like, demarcation where her belly was. Right. It wasn't formed. You know, you want something to kind of form the silhouette of the body. No, no. She needed flowy, not formed. Yeah, Yeah. not a formed thing. Either or. Listen, she got to sing like that. She got to breathe, okay? She's got, and things are coming in and out and sideways. She needed flowy. Lycra. 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 Baby coming out of there. One of the things that stopped at the booze and just flowed. That's it. It was. It was a lot, yeah. Yeah. Poor Stacey. Yeah. So, boys, what do you think? Was it hot? Was it a hot dress? Was she hot? No, she wasn't hot. She's just fun to watch. She's like the most, she's the train wreck of the group. I feel like everyone else on this show is a reality competition star. She could easily go on any reality show. I actually thought in my head, I said, you know what? If this doesn't work for her, we know she's hungry for the fame, right? Yeah. She <laughs> ought to she ought to get together with, I don't know, true? some. listen to me now. She <laughs> ought to get together with some network and pitch the first Housewives meets Bad Girls Club, you know, oh Bad Girls God. Club for, 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 for the older old, women. I've got a hit on my hands, ladies and gentlemen, and I want Stacey Francis in my show. You better tee him that tonight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that's all I think when I see her, because she is, uh, she's, she's wild. I'm just glad she didn't cry. She, she was about did. to. I know, I saw that, but I was like, please don't cry. Yeah. She didn't cry because Simon asked for the kiss, and so, see, I think she goes into this needy, like, star attention mode, and she was like, oh, I'm I'm about that kiss, and, you know, she, she went for it. But did she it. try to give him two kisses? I was kind of yeah. yeah. like, yeah, she pulled like, him back. Him, like. Again, she's the only one who's not reality competition. She's the only one who wants to be in the TMZs, and she's ready for this. Well, have you guys heard any of the Perez Hilton gossip that's been going around? Uh, that's yes. what I was going to talk about, the controversy. Yeah. She, we she's a, a man? JC knows about she's it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. No, it's it's come out that she's, I mean, supposedly she's toured with Prince. With um, she she did a uh, a party for Tom Cruise. She performed for Tom Cruise's birthday. Right, and she was on a show on BET just about two years ago. What oh. was it called? Sunday's, Sunday's best. Sunday's best. She's been on on Broadway. Adam Lambert tweeted that he went to go see her in Hair and he the Hair reprise and he loved her in it. So is that fair? Can I no, ask? Can it's I, not fair. Why? <laughs> wait, I, I'm well, wait a second. And her first husband was allegedly a music producer and helped her produce a bunch of her music. But, are y'all saying this isn't fair? No. Because because she lied? Because she's a professional already. And well, there are those well, no. of us who are not on Broadway, who have not toured with Prince, who definitely haven't performed for Tom Cruise, who, like, girl, what? you have a career. Like, but some this, of us have a chance. But this show right here, they don't have any any Rules, rules. against it. There are rules. 
Um, Wait, for X Factor, have lied you, about it. Well, yeah, exactly. basically when you go, so did she and lie about like, it? I mean, you can lie about it, but she's probably not under any contract. When right. you go and you get to a certain point, they right. literally have a. Uh, investigate. You talk to an investigator, right? And a psychologist, and all this. They put you through the ringer, so they know everything about you before they put you on the show, right? Right. And like, you just can't be in any contract, and if you are, you have to get it broken, or you're not on the show. Well, because they because they want to own you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, see, I mean, we could even talk about if we're gonna bring that, we can talk about Leroy Bell, who I know you guys gave me flack while we're watching this, but he had a hit. Like in the late seventies, he had a he had a duo group, and his hit uh, his hit went to like the top ten in like the Billboard like Soul, and it went like top twenty in Billboard, and he was a part of a duo. So that I mean, was like nineteen seventy nine. But was still, like an expiration so you're, date. you're saying that's so okay, but hers yeah, is that your limitation? Totally has like a. An I don't, expiration I don't know that date. most com- of us weren't even born in nineteen seventy nine. Like I don't know that I'm, I'm completely like, upset with that. With but any I think of the them, public though. thinks that these people are just pulled from obscurity and they're going to be made but into yeah. a superstar. Isn't that with it's any just show though? And that's with every TV show. Every single show is supposed to be somebody being plucked from something, but they all have experience but to some degree. But hers is totally different. Like they made it seem like she was a mother. And had no opportunities and was just her singing at the house. Her dreams have been stripped away. And she was at karaoke. She didn't want to die with the music inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, she just once all these rumors came out, she pulled off of her website her brand new CD for sale uh, and all of her credits yeah. in which she's done. Yep. So she it's like that Tom Cruise she video also said that she hasn't had a, a job in twelve years. So it's more for me the thing that upsets me is that you're lying to America to the audience to the people who, who are voting want to you. love you yeah. want to vote for you and now but, you're but this isn't going to come out like on there they're never going to talk about it people are just going to be but talking gonna about grow. it yeah, you, in the news I think it's going to grow though because oh it's already growing it's it's everywhere I mean because that CD that, that, is, that we were talking about it was from 08 you know, oh. yeah, yeah, it's just from a couple years ago. I watched the video online of her performing for Tom Cruise, and you can see everyone. We had pictures of her with like Will Smith and just like I think J Lo or something like that. She, I mean, she's been all over the place. Like she's. So what we're saying it's okay Ouch. for Leroy, Leroy, do, but it's not do, for Stacey. Do, do the shows do this on on purpose though? I mean, do they they don't know about this stuff? Or? No, they know. That's what I'm saying. They do, have do, a do, total do, PI. I was gonna, gonna say, do they do like the background. what was that one girl's name, the Frenchie Davis, where she like, do they do it kind of for buzz? Like now, now this girl gets to be the one you're saying. You know, well, what, there the, are things that will slip through. I mean, if it's not in, in the record and the the contestant never tells them or whatever, there are things that will slip through. And if it does, it's in your contract and it says, if this happens, we will kick you well, off. It's a lot of well, slippage, Fr- Right. Stacey. Well, Frenchie was a long time I'm ago. I'm sure they knew about we her background. we that internet savvy back yeah. then. I mean, I hate to say it. I know that was only a few years back, but I don't really don't think that we were as good as we are now yeah. with finding things we were, out. We were on Twitter. I mean, so. even The Voice did it with two people. They had Frenchie and, I forget her first name, the first girl who performed, who battled Frenchie, who was from VH1 Diva Search. She won that Terrilyn Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, so I and I don't have issues with that because they never lied about it. They never oh, okay. Right. So right. that's, that's just yeah. sto- yeah. storytelling. Yeah. You is. can't have, be the X factor if you're not being yourself. Okay, so right. I think I finally get what you guys exactly. are saying now. It's kind of like who was that Melissa Rycroft who was I guess she was on The Bachelor or something like that. So that made sense. But then she went to Dancing with the Stars. But then wasn't she a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader or something? So now okay, so that's the issue. Got it. Yeah. Just, I just have to understand okay, what everyone's we'll talking about. Up. Sorry. He just has to understand it in his own world. Yeah. <laughs> so Stacy, we liked. We love Stacy. Well, we like Stacy. I love staring I just at don't think Stacy's going to win. I mean, I just don't. No way. I don't like Stacy. I think she's just really okay. And that's why she hasn't done anything right. more than be a backup person and whatever. Well, she's she is I'm trying kind of hard. Hating. She's trying yeah. hard, though. No, um, <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Well, let's move on from Stacy because she is boring me right now. I'm just kidding. Let's go to Paula. <laughs> Paula and her group, y'all. Stereo Hogs. Stereo Hogs rocked. Oh, they really They were the good. first uh, group of the night, or first act of the night. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, they are up there. You know, they're entertaining. Yeah, they and did Janet Jackson. They mm-hmm. were like the new boys to men, you know. <laughs> Um, what did y'all think? What did y'all think about them? I said it last week. I'll say it again. They are so versatile. Like, yeah. They are double threat, triple threat, whatever. Like, they have it all. They're they're just killing it out there. I, I think they'll it. be there to the end. I really do. They just want know. it. They're hungry. They're it, just so hungry. They so bring it every time. It depends on the, the demographic that's voting. I, and I hate that was to one say of that. my original. I hate yeah. to say that they're the most talented, but they're probably not going to be the top four. Well, who's voting? We all know who's voting. Young Middle girls. America, Middle America, and young girls. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, so. that's why you know 
But that, sometimes, sometimes Middle America will be cool with their vibe. You know what I mean? So they just gotta soften <laughs> no, it up a little bit. You know what? Actually, that's true because if um, America's Got Talent, the guy who won last year, they plucked him. I think from just like oh, from like the hood and just and he sang like like jazz, Frank Sinatra, Michael Bublé songs. But look at what he was singing to Middle America. Right. <sighs> so he was like the token kid. <laughs> they were like, oh, we can vote for him because he's doing like our music. <laughs> so but you're saying they they should give him like the, like the four seasons or something like the Stereo Hawks next week? Ooh, ah. I would love that. Change change the whole style. I'm just no, saying. But legitimately, I love that music. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, I I feel like they're um they're stronger than I think the, the strongest other group. Yeah, they, they are, are the all strongest the groups. Groups. I mean, moving on to you know Dakota Reigns. I mean, uh, what? I, I agree with Simon. <laughs> Oh, you know the the the, the seasons, seasons. seasons. And, and those dresses. Idea? That was that was Paula's idea. Yeah. No, that was that was Paula's idea. Well, you know Paula. Ooh. I was like, but, what does this even have to do with seasons? I'm so confused. It didn't, yeah. but they and, sang and, and they sang like yeah. Landfall, but it was good. Everyone Landfall. wanted to love that song, but they didn't do it the justice. I thought it was you, just okay. You had an issue with the sound or the. I thought like there were a few times where they were supposed to come together with their harmonies and they clashed. And I, I wrote was the like, same thing. I was like, oh, that was bad. Do you mm-hmm. feel like? None of the judges tonight, they didn't say anything bad about anybody. Right. Yeah, they were really soft. Everyone did improve, though. Yeah. I will say I, uh, that. Okay, like, they, everyone did improve from last week. Okay, but... Yeah. Even Chris Renee? They're not the ones voting. Even Chris. Chris was awful last week. He was watchable He's still this still awful. Week. <laughs> but he was watchable this week. Yeah, I thought he was last better. Last week, we'll he was to. just, oh my God, how did he make it yeah, that we far? Yeah, we will get to him, yeah. Uh... Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get him in a second. <laughs> because, I mean, he needs to go. He doesn't need to go back. He doesn't need to go back to rehab, but he needs to go and make his album. Okay. Now. <laughs> She's like, I said it, and I'm moving on. I did on. it, and I'm moving on. Done. Now, we, I know we're going fast to these people, but I mean, is there anything else you want to say mm-hmm. about Stereo Hogs or Dakota Reigns? Okay, I will see it's one thing about Dakota Reigns. Are you it's, calling them Dakota? Lakota. Lakota. <laughs> she's calling you, she's calling you Stacy. Marcy's here. Her name is now Jeanette. <laughs> she's just going to call me the Mexican kid. I don't know this. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. I love making up Stacy yeah. and Dakota Reigns. And um, you know, Dakota Reigns. Uh, this is her new name. Um, there's, it just It's throwing me off. Who has three blondes and a brunette? Like yeah. it's just weird. And I love watching the brunette every single week because I think he she has a crush on the no, brunette. It's, no, it's just, it's just, well, I don't know if are they even over eighteen. What's the deal with them? <laughs> He's like, wait, can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah, can we? Well, yes, once I can, then I will. But I just think it's so funny because the first week she was the pudgy brunette with all these hot blondes, right? Okay, follow me here. And every week she steps it up more and more, and she's gonna be the stripper-looking one by the end of the show. <laughs> I'm calling it out. What did you say? Her hair gets longer and longer. Long, bigger extensions, bigger, more makeup. Up and she's yeah. She's I feel shorter like skirts. they don't know their mark. Like yeah. when they're trying to merge together, they're kind of like it's. A, and, and they're just, just on like a platform awkward. all the time. They don't yeah. move. They, they don't, don't do move anything at all. all. And they're forcing themselves to be so. We are. Yeah, we're. Com- it's camaraderie. Like they're forcing no, that too much. No, the the blonde girl with the big eyes. <laughs> oh, the Angelina Jolie with blonde hair. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, she I, scares you. She's. You have said that since the beginning. But I feel like she's like, step it out, y'all. Yeah. She's the alpha. <laughs> That's what we said oh, in the room. See me. See me. We right said now. that in the room. She always has a knee further out or <laughs> an arm further out. Like she's. See, you're with me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Would you hate this about yeah, this okay? I, I, I don't love yeah, it. She's always exactly. looking at the camera. Is, is that why I have the couch? <laughs> Maybe, but I might need to come sit on you and like, hey. hey. Um, no, I just, uh, look, they did not come to this competition to be a group. And I feel as mm-hmm. though it's not working out. They'll be out After early. this, okay, after this, are they still going to be? <laughs> no, I'm going to say this. <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. Dakota <right? laughs> I don't think so. The girl, I think her name's Danny. Yeah. The blonde, yeah. What's the brunette's name? What's her name? Danny, I, I, Danny I, I, Jones I, I, Dakota. I, don't give him the name. Impression on the little girl. I, I'd like to follow her career. Yeah. <laughs> she going, never mind. Never mind. Quit behind, Ronnie. Yeah. Just She'll career. be at Girls, Girls, Girls. Just go to Sunset. <laughs> like, did I see her at Cheetah? No, you know what? They might not. Okay. I do see him going out rather early, but do you think maybe some unhappy husbands may be voting for them as well? And a lot of like, don't watch the show. I would watch the show. An unhappy husband? Why? Because they're hot. Should be like. (laughs) 
for TNA. Let me tell you like, something. The yeah, you're gonna be on Spike girls. TV. You'll be on Spike TV. Yeah. You'll be on yeah. Young girls are voting, and they're gonna vote for Intensity. They're gonna vote for any group. Oh God. Yeah, High School Musical. You know, come on. Mm-hmm. Intensity. Let's oh. talk about these people. Intensity. There's ten of them. It's just not fair. And there's ten of them in school. So that's them and their schools and their families and their friends. And you have, and you have Paula in the, in the opening package oh talking God. about oh they're just like Glee. You're just, they're like pushing that so hard so you know people could grab onto it it's yeah it's that's the part that's the machine you and like know? only three of them really sing Can i hate them just imagine <laughs> that stage <laughs> I, you just hate them you just hate them i just hate, I hate them. them it's summed up with i just don't like them that's can the you best imagine all the stage mothers they and just, fathers oh, backstage oh, there's there's the other reality show we should pitch okay that's oh, what we should pitch be good. yes because Come yeah, on, we've Robin seen Jr. we've seen stage parents alone, but oh, stage parents that with a group put amazing. together. Oh, I want it. What are we doing? We do We're TMing tonight. We're TMing, We're TMing tonight. It's two shows. <laughs> two, three's a charm. Come on, we got. I think I have another one in my head somewhere. <laughs> you, got, you got a lot in that brain over there. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So we're um. So I think that. All in all, we vote that we're not huge group fans, but our favorite group is what? Stereo hogs. Stereo hogs. Stereo hogs. Yes. All right. Oh, what are you squealing about now? <laughs> to L.A. Reid. Because he's got some good boys oh, going on. Oh, he does. Okay, let's just get Chris out of the way. Ugh. You, g- yeah. you guys could talk about him. Yeah. There's nothing to say. <laughs> Chris. Okay, seems next. He's like a nice guy. <laughs> We're just going to. Okay, so he, he was what's fine. the next guy? His name? son is cute. Is, yeah, his son's cute. No, We're I just, really reaching right no. now. Like, Chris is better. Okay, he sounds nice. like baby back. He let's had awkward nice. looking ears. Chris was better than last week. He was better than last week. He sounds a little like, if you think about, like, what about like Baby Bash or is it Kobe O'Donis? No. No? I, I mean, no, I'm like, no. Kobe you know O'Donis would be very upset to hear that. Is why is he rapping? I don't understand why, and why the he crowd was gets so in his little, like, interview part. He was saying how he. He can't. He only likes to sing his own stuff, and he was upset because he can't sing his own stuff. But then uh, Astro got to write all of his own lyrics. Yeah, that's totally not fair. And it's it it's it's a thing of oh, well, oh my he's God, an MC, let's so MCs can't you know do other MCs raps because that's like taboo. But who oh. cares? Like if he gets to do his own thing, then the other people yeah, should. I mean, if they want to tank and fail on their own songs, then let that's them. That's interesting, y'all, because I I didn't think about that. Because yeah. Asher did write his first little thing, and then they complimented him, and then Simon even changed um, little Rachel Crow's Rachel's, song. Yeah. I mean, that whole intention of her song was t- completely different than you know yeah. mm-hmm. what that was. We'll get to that in a minute. Because Chris is almost saying as if like he's doing badly or poorly because he can't sing his own stuff. Yeah, but we don't like watching excuses in yeah. this show. So. <laughs> it's not the excuse no. factor or what? <laughs> okay, right. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Excuse factor. Yeah, excuse yeah, me. Excuse sorry. me. No, that should we, be our title. Excuse no, me. We, um, we hate it on Monday. We watch the sing off and they say, Oh, this is the the style of music we gotta sing this week is outside of our comfort zone. They say that every yeah. five out of ten groups and it, it gets annoying. Like you're in a competition. That's part of the show. So no, yeah, but it's wait, not wait, fair. No, wait, wait, what's wait, part wait. of the if show is this. one of them gets this. to do it and the other one doesn't. Yes, but what's part of the show is this. You don't enter this competition to sing your own stuff. Well, yes, you do, Kat, because if you, wa- what, what? If you watch the uh, UK X Factor, uh-huh. Cher Lloyd, sang all her Misha own B, stuff. these people are <laughs> then, known. Then these why are, is America... Oh, I'll tell you I don't why. understand, but the point <laughs> is, if you're looking for someone with the X Factor, if you're going to Chris's show, There's he's not going to be singing Britney Spears. He's going to be singing right. somebody else's But I completely stuff. agree, but it's not fair that they have to sing um, an old, older song, like something, you know, that everyone knows. That's, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, they're, they're singing songs that we recognize, okay? That's what they're doing. So we're not bored and we don't well, try the TV. Well, fine. They should be able to do what Astro does. Get a song that everybody recognizes get a beat and rewrite it. Mm-hmm. There you go. Like, yeah. like, it's that, that easy. Be, yeah. It's that easy. And poor yeah. Blake, Chris wasn't going to do well regardless. That excuse, no. if he would have got to do what he wanted, he still would have done bad. No. I mean, he was awkward and weird. Yeah. This is his moment. Let him have his 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, I, I really do think that he has a place in the rap world. No, 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 that's a disgrace to rappers. I don't oh. know what he was doing rapping. No, oh, no. just celebrity rehab. See, I'm not. Ra- nah, I'll tell you. I just though. hope he stays clean. You know, just you know, yeah, Chris. Me too. Me too. That on a serious note, yeah. yes, because that would be horrible. I know we're railing on him, but I mean, like he, he's he's a story, and that's what America kind of looks for. So, what if he stays on? I think he should be out. It's like between. He's not going to be out. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be Leroy. But yeah, it it's, is what it is. is. But 
his time is coming. Just let him have his little 15 minutes. And know? there'll be a lot of people around him now to kind of hopefully take care of him. That's what that's the no, hope. No, there'll you don't be a lot so? of people around him to enable his situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gotta find That's a whole new group of friends. <laughs> Call a group of friends. Well, I was really just... hoping for the good, good stuff. Sorry, I guess, man. that's all right. <laughs> Reality oh. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I'm like, it's gonna be all good. He's gonna work through it. No, I guess not. No. Mm-hmm. Well, talking about uh, confidence meets talent. Astro, Mr. Yep, Astro, yep. because I've never seen a child that cocky so in my life. Confident. Uh huh. Like, uh-huh. like I'm amazed. No, there's a lot of arrogant little kids like that. I thought he was just okay this week. But, and maybe that's because he was so amazing like last week. But because you have to have yeah. that to back it up. I mean, you mm-hmm. can't just be like, oh, I'm a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And start, you know, I mean, he's good. I, I well, mean. Well, hearing. <laughs> see, like, do it again. Do it again. Can we re- request you to start rapping? That's, that's the <laughs> X <laughs> factor right there. Yeah. Oh, keep it, keep it, keep it. <laughs> so, what were you going to say, Jessica? Well, I mean, I'm even more impressed that he wrote it all himself. Like yeah. fourteen year old, I'm not that impressed. Writing, uh, okay, well, it was just the fact that last week he was so <laughs> strong. It was the opening. It was mm-hmm. like the that energy was so good, and he you know walked through that door, so to, so to speak. And then this week he wasn't as great. So that's that's how I saw it. That's how I saw it too. It is so hard to like, trump your best number. It really oh is. yeah, when we do talk you know. about Drew, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. You just whoa. Drew y'all... had her best moment in the auditions when she <laughs> yeah. did the baby song. She has not With her little that stance. For me yet. <laughs> Oh my god, I so talked about that. That's how she does. You did say it's, you were going to dance on the show. You found me. a way. She found a way to right? dance. Yeah. Is that uh, how she dances? It was, it was like the stanky leg or something. Oh my gosh. The stanky leg. She's so cute, though. She, she's kind of got she that lanky no body rhythm. like Taylor Swift. None but like, it, it works for her. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it Taylor, didn't work for her tonight. She needs a prop, like it, it a mic stand or something. Or a guitar. <laughs> oh, she so Just needs a mic there. stand. That's yeah. a great Like, she needs something. So do you think Astro's being prepped? Going back to Astro, like by L.A. Reid, he's like, Heck yeah. who cares where he ends? Astro, L.A. Reid's got him. Again, yeah. he is another yeah. one that is not going to make it to the end. He's probably not even going to make it to the Final Four, but that little boy is already signed, and, and he yeah. will does be in this business care. for a very long time. He does not care. He's young enough. He's probably got the social media Completely. savviness of it all. Yeah, he's, he's he good. He will be signed he's, as he's, soon as he gets He's not one that I say, oh, if he doesn't make it, he's probably going to do well off talent. I just think he's giving himself such a buzz right now that he'll be good. Like, mm-hmm. that's my thing with I him. I could see him teaming up with Justin Bieber and have, like, the boys. Like oh, a battle? Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, Lord. I know. <laughs> oh, God. Did y'all hear? Okay, wait. It's like, after Vince exclusive, here we go. somebody pregnant. I was watching. Yes, I was watching Wendy Williams say. I was running on the treadmill today. And I was, like, watching Wendy Williams. That girl is fun. And, um. <laughs> and, hey, girl. <laughs> girl. Oh my god! I can Why watch her every day. I know, what you say? It's on video tape now. You're I stuck. You, you, that you, you went there. I know. I can't <laughs> wait to watch this. Supposedly, Justin Bieber um, has had a baby with this girl, with the twenty year old, the twenty year old, and he was seventeen, and like. Oh my God! It's a whole to do. And we they hooked up, up in the bathroom. In the bathroom after a concert. And we believed this. <laughs> and he said it was just a hug. And I'm like, so you're admitting that you actually did see the. <laughs> well, it was reported oh, by, of course, the staple of all true news, Star Magazine. Oh, yeah. Star. Yeah. It's well, on TMZ. He's trying to get his street cred. I mean, don't bash on Star. Yeah. They had the best crossword puzzle. He's trying to get his street cred because he recently uh, just dropped some new. Uh, songs out for his Christmas. new upcoming his Christmas no 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 for his mixtape he's actually rapping now why why I can't heard people stay in their lanes I, I love that word I, actually I, I say that all the time lanes lanes, lanes 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 I love that sorry yeah, I just hope he did get this girl pregnant so he can stay away from the mixtape business because <laughs> as soon as this Keep album drops, busy. I don't know where I he's going. I thought he was dating one of those Disney stars. Selena Gomez. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, supposedly it happened a month out, so before they got together. Oh. Yes. And then on his Twitter. Haven't they oh, been together, though, for like over a year? This did her research. This girl did oh, her research. Oh, I'm, I'm just the facts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on his Twitter, he quoted Billie Jean. Billie Jean. That was his response. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, next we've got Marcus Cantus, right? Cantus. Um, I believe. Just I'm giving out new names for I'm Latin, I don't know. <laughs> I wrote it in the dark. a new name tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my new name? <laughs> Dancing Queen. Kitty Cat. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so, Marcus, 
Bobby Brown. He's just super likable. I like I see him. I he's feel like awesome. he's kind of like he's a seasoned like, performer. Yeah, like like remember like when Will Smith like <laughs> when he he's just so like nice and vanilla and that's I'm, I want him I want him to be thank you I want him to be a little a little rougher. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> what do you mean rougher? What is... It's just he's just so. I mean he's a breath of fresh air. I watch I him and I just try- smile. I think really? he's trying because to because be... I think if he wasn't on X Factor he would have been thrusting and. Yes. Doing all kinds of oh, Bobby Brown. He's already at, he's already on the edge with Dude, Fox. You think so? okay. I think he has it, but they yeah. but LA Reed is like, so listen, these are the people that are voting for you. This True. is what you need to do. Yeah, LA Reed is so far he, ahead of the game in this thing. Those people thing. are yeah. so coached. Are you kidding me? What? I what really was that like, move he was doing? Do it, I can't do it. Do it. The spider. No. Do the spider. He was like down. What is that? Oh, thing? he's like, like crawling. <laughs> Yes, that, that, that yes. one. Yes. Yes. Ooh. That was, good. that was a, a JC exclusive I right there. Stirred. I've done a lot of dancing in my life that I've never done that little typewriter S thing. Yeah, yeah. Right typewriter? Down. I mean, I've done the typewriter, but that was like like distorted typewriter. Yeah. Oh my God. He had the best mis- mix of music. If this was yeah. another network, I it would have got way him. more raunchy, just like Bobby Brown always did. That's oh, he would have been completely out of control. Um, I'd have been he like, doesn't dance as good as Bobby. Especially with those girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't dance as good as Bobby, but he's cool. Like I really like him. I a like lot. him. Yeah. yeah, I love him. Very comfortable. You know, you watch a performer that you're not sure <laughs> Very about. Very strong words. It's yeah. kind of like you're kind of cringing for them. I, you do not cringe for him. No. You back up and you. Thank and you enjoy God, it. because he was doing a lot up there. I mean, yeah. I mean, he didn't get lost. No. You know, he he didn't lose his tone. He dancing he, and singing is and here's hard. what I love. <laughs> yes, it is. And do you, do you do it as well? Um, I make an effort to. <laughs> <laughs> You'll it have to see hard. December 5th. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just sitting on stage that <laughs> oh, day, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and dancing and singing is very tough, but also interacting with the other dancers as well. Mm-hmm. You can't just be, okay, I'm on my stage by myself. Oh, no, no, no. You got to look over here, make sure Ronnie Jr.'s doing okay, make sure JC, okay, girls, y'all got it going on too. Yep. You know, and I felt that energy and that love, and I don't know, I think he's going to do very well. And there's, um, he's like, I don't want to compare him to, Usher. Usher. Com- com- oh, no, com- okay. he's talked about liking Usher okay, and wanting to. So okay. there you go. Or Chris Brown. I, I think it'd be cool for him to do an Usher song, even. Oh, yeah. I think that would, would be. Kill an that's Usher probably going to happen. Um, yeah. That would be great. I want to I see that. It'll definitely happen because L.A. Reid has produced and written mm-hmm. some of Usher's songs. Who has L.A. Reid not produced? And, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first sure of all, um, actually, L.A. Reid did write this song. We didn't already say that. Um, and it was. What's the name of the song? Bobby uh, Brown. Every little step I take. Every little step, every little step I take. Shall we all sing it? You will, you will be there. Every little step, step I make, we'll be together. Well, so isn't the caller that's on the line right now for you. Turn. We got a caller. We got a caller. Hey now. Hello. Hey. Hey, this is uh, this is Tony from Brentwood. Oh hi. Tony, Tony, Tony. What up? Hey Tony, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, just uh, getting ready for bed here. But uh, I had a question. Do you guys think Paul Abdul was better on the X Factor or on Idol? And what's your opinion on that? X Factor. X Factor. Oh, X sure. Factor. She's a different person. Completely. She's what do you involved. think, Tony? I think she went to rehab in Malibu. And she's, <laughs> she's got to be now. So. Try to make me go. So now we have sober <laughs> Paula. That's great. <laughs> Well, no, because she's speaking in full sentences. She's you not slurring. Though, you know, I mean, no, it's true. This, though. When I was on Idol, she was super involved with us, like behind the scenes, and they just edited that stuff and didn't have her. Like she was, she was how she is on X Factor. Wow, she was super cool. Super, like yeah, she okay. was my favorite judge. Really? Yeah. Wow, they can edit out some people. <laughs> so, Let me tell you something. Tony, what else do you like about the show? Do you have a favorite uh, already? Um, actually, I've, I've actually been a. Uh, to be honest with you, my favorite is Catherine. I've been kind of following some of her, uh, <laughs> her stuff on, online. And uh, from what I hear, she's a pretty good country music singer as well. Maybe next week she could play a song for, for y'all in there. We would well, all we were that. actually talking about that, Tony. I, I think I might write a little jingle next week for X Factor. Mm-hmm. And I think my girls Jessica and Marcy are going to sing with me. <laughs> going to back her up. Uh-huh. She's going to bring her guitar. My girls. No. What, move over, Dakota Rain. <laughs> <laughs> So they're making fun of me, Tony, because I can't get this name of this group right. So I just make it up and I just keep or it. Or my it. name. I'm uh, Stacy, by the way. She's Ma. Oh, she's Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> I called her Stacy. You know, I'm bad with names, but great with faces. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's not a bad thing. I saw you in the street when you would be like, and I recognize you, but I remember your name. You probably wouldn't remember my name either. 
Yeah, Cat. Nobody. Okay. Hey, let me tell you, nobody <laughs> forgets <laughs> Cat Bayless once they meet yeah. Cat oh, Bayless. Oh God. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> hey kids, like, Hi, Buzzy the After Buzz B says, get back on subject. <laughs> <laughs> See, did buzzed. you hear that, Tony? I did. I did. We're getting off subject. Tony, now. do us a favor and uh, put put us on Twitter. You know, your Twitter, your Facebook. Let everyone know about the show. Okay, we would appreciate. Thanks that. for calling in. Yes, Tony. Thanks so much for oh, calling absolutely. in. I think this is your third time. Ooh. Oh yeah. I, I just I can't Stalker. get enough of it. I just want to. I'm, I'm looking forward to a live performance though next week. So. Well, all right. Tune in next week. Yeah. Get it. You better tune in though. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the last uh, performers here. Thanks, Tony. Bye, Thanks, Tony. Tony. Bye. Sweet dreams. <laughs> so where are we at now? Okay. Uh, Rachel Crow. I'm like, Kat's going to be taking her clothes off. Let's just talk about the girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me get my glasses out here. No, next we have um, Simon's groups, right, yes. y'all? Mm -hmm. The girls. Yep. The yes. girls. All right. Here we go. Who's first? Rachel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rachel. Yeah, Rachel that doesn't Rachel dance. Poo. Rachel can do no wrong in my eyes. She's from Colorado. That's uh, true. Are you from Colorado? Represent. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. My brother lives there. Okay. I'm getting off subject. Sorry. I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> okay. Raven Simone 2.0. She's a Disney star. She's, because she, she can probably act. They said that she'd be a great actress. But she she's a, a fat little girl and they don't know how to style her and it's driving me nuts. Oh, yeah. For sure. I'm like, what do they keep her putting her makeup in? Her there? entire what personality you... matches up to, because, you know, she's like a little, little, little girl and personality of a 65 year old. Oh, what, yeah. what do we call her? Estelle she's... or Gertrude? Yeah. She's yeah. like, <laughs> she, her, she needs to be casted and date little Manny on Modern Family, because that's exactly oh, yeah. what, <laughs> what I, I see Manny. happening. Oh, yeah. That's cute. So look, hey, that's our third trademark. We're going to make that happen, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Three's charm. <laughs> we got Love it. it. Oh, my gosh. This is son. Yeah. Um, She's okay though. She and just needs to she dance. On that platform? She has not Can danced. Can they have her come off the? Just walk around. Uh, the that little roly poly has not danced the whole time. It was it was awkward for me. That's like me standing up here and doing the whole show with y'all around me. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can try that. Can you get up right now? <laughs> um, I might break the table, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. It's only for production value. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I I, feel, I I agree. I She's agree. going very far. It's just oh, totally. it, we just want to see more. We want to see more playfulness I that matches her, her personality. Maybe she's another. Non rhythmer. Yeah. That's no, okay. She could just walk around. Just just walk around. We just want to know she that needs her feet a ballot work. next week. We just want to okay. know that she can move. Okay, so if we're so critical about <laughs> her 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 little platform performance, what do we see her doing? Song wise or well, I'm not complaining. She's gonna be a little okay. actress. She's gonna have her own product, her own brand. Disney better snatch her up now. I think she's too mature for Disney. No, I don't oh, no. I think she's Raven perfect. Simone was too. I think she's so perfect. Like She's but gonna be whatever she does is gonna be like some show on Disney gives me like girl in the city, you know, like some cute little girl. Well, I, th I think that everyone who watches yeah. this show has their favorite, yet along with your favorite, if it's Drew, you still know Rachel Crow. If your favorite is Stereo Hogs, you still know Rachel Crow. Like, you have favorites, yeah. and every single fan has a favorite, but Rachel Crow is the most popular. Totally. I, I mean, I have to think that that's true. Like, I, she, got, I got the name of her show, which is what I got my own bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all remember that? Yes. Yeah. She's like, what I have are you gonna... six people in my house and only two bathrooms. Yeah. And yeah, and I want room. my own bathroom. That's what I'm going to do with my five million if I win. <laughs> I was just like, oh. A girl needs her own bathroom. It's so cute. So yeah, precious. So funny. Um, Drew. But I think everyone Drew. pretty much is in love with her. And I think mm -hmm. Simon has the I think Simon has the biggest crush on on. Rachel and Drew. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, his. I've never seen Simon Cowell's He's just like face a proud, light up. like, pop-up. Yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't have any kids, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But Drew, like, well, again, what was she wearing? That girl's feet are too big not to be in shoes. <laughs> Let's just start there. Like, that tutu thing, it was, uh, it was oh, awful. And and this was way too mature. The, the shoulder pads and the, the uh-uh. I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't be critical on the fourteen-year-old for some reason. I, 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 I for her, I was we able can. to. I was able to just look at her and say, <laughs> "We're girls. It yeah. doesn't matter." I was, able to, you are. I was able to look at her and say, "She's cool." You know, this this She's time. She's great. She her vocals are amazing. Yeah. That girl has no rhythm though. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? I like. I like what. This is what I loved. She was singing <laughs> upside down, and I was like, "Are we watching Taylor Swift?" Thank you very much, Jessica. Video, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is amazing." I mean, I love what they're doing with this show. Granted, Taylor Swift has a music video. Exactly, it starts exactly like that. I know that. our oh, song. So there's the mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. Yeah. Our song. So our it's going to entrench everyone in America to vote for her. Like all the little girls in the mm -hmm. country love her. Yeah, yeah. She's amazing. Her voice is so unique and so her. The best quote of the night was when Simon's like, "You're my mentor." He is. 
I learned so much from you because you've got your own thing. I don't need to tell you to do anything. I don't need to give you any advice because I wasn't paying attention. I missed that. Mm-hmm. I was so you know what we, were, okay. we were talking about. I told you just now. It's her feet. We were, no, we, no, her comment. You had a very funny comment. You said. Gosh, she's having trouble with the rhythm as far as just walking, let alone <laughs> yeah. dancing. So we I pulled out so dancing, bad. and we're just praying that she could walk across the stage next week. It was so bad. That was a good one, right? It was so yeah. bad. Yeah. I was always I wondering why she only sang slow songs, and now this is I know why. it's yeah. because no, she, she has I'll, not We should a request, she better sing every little step I take next yeah. week. That is, that is my <laughs> request. Let's put that on Twitter and make It'd that like, happen. <laughs> Every little step I take. <laughs> she be doing the robot? Is that yeah. what you say? Look, she, no, she's careful to take another step. Yeah. <laughs> with, with, with the tutu, yeah. Um, we, we skipped someone, I think. No, we, no, no. no we, Melanie. Melanie. Is, we, got to, we will and talk about Melanie. Melanie is when Kat goes, ah, or some, oh, yeah. some noise. Melanie got the <laughs> scream. Yeah. That was what I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry Amazing. out there, y'all, but come on. You, if, you go, if you've not seen it, go YouTube it now. I mean, I'm sure it's on YouTube right now. Melanie... Um, there's a reason why he got her back. I mean, and my, I think we were talking about this earlier, Jessica. I felt like you're like, wow, look at her makeover. Like, mm-hmm. her makeover is retarded. So, and did they absolutely do all this on purpose? No, no, I don't think I, so. I, I, think I, it is. I, I would never put it past I any producer. I strongly believe ever that on it was, those shows. Yes. Yeah with, yeah, with with a lot of elements. The fact that she is so good, the fact that she looked a certain way, and she her makeover is actually a success. Extreme, yeah. Um, but she didn't have the look before. That's what we were talking no, about. No, that's what I was about that's to say. Why she she's per- ha- that's why she's the perfect person to do that with. Uh, the girl to that doesn't. Beautiful swan. Uh, yeah, yeah. She doesn't look that cute yeah. to begin with. She was not an ugly girl. She just was normal, you know, going nine to five job probably or whatever. She's I 14, was, dude. She's 19. Oh, oh 19? <laughs> this show Drew's 19? No, no Drew's 14. No, 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 sorry, Melanie, Melanie sorry. Yeah. This show you she doesn't she look like she's like 30? Melanie, yes, she does. This is the one show you can't tell anyone's age. I mean, as Rachel Crow, who Estelle is like 75 years old, I mean, I'm just thrown off, you know? Anyhow. I just, I was talking, I also said this to Jessica earlier, I said, I don't want, you know, I look at, I look at Drew, and I look at her, her little cute face, and her, her very interesting, like, teeth. smile, her teeth, yes. She needs some um, teeth. Okay. No, but see, this is what I said. I don't True. think she does. I, I feel yeah. like. I said what, the same. What She's if, getting new teeth. I know she will be because mm-hmm. that's what they'll do to her. But I'm like, but that's what makes her different. And when she's looking like, no, like, it just makes her have bad teeth. It's uh, her charm. <laughs> it's her charm. Wait, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say? Are you trying to say it's, it's cute with those teeth? Yeah. No. Janice Joplin wasn't the cutest, you know, person. It's like, or, yeah, but back then we didn't yeah. care we're, we're, how rock We are Twitter like, TMZ generation. Now, and, I'm telling it's you, it's like Anna Paquin in True Blood. The big gap, it works for her. You know, yeah. Madonna saying, still has Jewel her gap. Jewel says she'll never fix her teeth. And she should though. She <laughs> has enough money like Taya? now. And... Is it Tia? Taya Tolliver oh, from, from last week. Yeah. Oh. As well. The gap is not as bad as the juxtaposition of teeth. Gap means no, right, right. Drew, Drews were pretty <laughs> bad. Successful. Yeah. Did y'all know that? Huh? Mm-hmm. I sealed my gap. The gap. Uh, there is a singer on the sing-off who's pretty good like that, Troy. And, and if he closed that gap, it would he'd be terrible. I, but I agree. As a singer, but that's a like dude. you sing, you sing. Like to start off a song a cappella. And stay on the same key and not miss a, a note is Melanie phenomenal. Yeah, Melanie. Yeah. Melanie. That song is so amazing. Desperado. That song's already amazing in and of itself, mm-hmm. like with the original artist. But for her, like like Simon said, like she could sing Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston for days. But for her to go completely out of her horizon, what do you call it? Broadening genre. her yeah. genre. No, no, yeah. mm-hmm. no you're it's right. Okay. So, that's why they're all here. Yeah, we're, we're supporting we're, we're each other. We're now. Yeah. I'm like word vomit. <laughs> she killed it. It's been a long day. I gotta she stick did. to the simple words. She did. No worries. I thought she was 10 times better than last week. Because last week it was a good. She was, was far better than last week. Yes, because she kept going sharp last week. Mm-hmm. You know, with the big notes, it was a big song. But I thought she was off, and people were just like, "Oh, it was such a big song." So she did so good. But this week she nailed it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, every the, the notes were crisp. She was on point. Perfect song choice. Who Perfect. would you say that she reminds you of? I feel she's got an essence of Mariah. I said it when they were introducing her, mm-hmm. just just the way she was moving. Just well, I'm not gonna wish that upon her. Yes. <laughs> no, not really. So. I, mean, <laughs> I don't mean the craziness. <laughs> but there's also God. Who else did I think? Um, I don't know. It's a half hour show. Come on. Who? No, I know it's gonna take me a while. I'm blind. <laughs> um, no, there was some. I mean, I feel like it's almost uh, whatever. I think of it. <laughs> <laughs> she had brain fart. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 going, it's, it's going around the table. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess that kind of 
like Jordan Sparks. She reminds me of. I mean, that you did kinda, say that a couple She kind of reminds me of like a Leona Lewis. Or yeah, uh, there yeah. you go. Oh, yeah. There yeah, you okay, go. I can see that. Okay, hmm. okay. So she's the bastard so love child of Leona Lewis and, and Jack Black. And Jordan. Mariah Carey and um, no, that's Jordan burrito Sparks. guy. And Jordan Sparks. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, I feel like she too looks a lot older than she is. These these girls. I'm I'm like, t- the chicken hormone thing. It's killing people. I, what I'm is it? Like, what is it? That chicken uh-huh. hormone thing. <laughs> you know how they say like kids look bigger and older because of the hormones in our chicken. food. Mm. Well, no, just hormones in the food. I love chicken. <laughs> You know, can I, can I bring something Everything up? Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> can I bring something up? What did you guys think about actually the flow of the show compared to like last week with the it host? Was stiff last week, yeah. Right, and just like Jones just made it move They had a perfectly. Twitter girl this time. I still think Taren the show Southern. could be an hour. I don't need to know their background. Yeah. I already yeah. know what I need to know it's about this. This is what Fo- I told you what this is what Fox should do. They should go for about an hour show and then they should hire us to do an after show on Fox. Agreed. There you go. Fox, if you're listening. That's our other show. We just tearing it up tonight. No, two hours is way too long of any show, really. I, biggest and loser, commercials? I stopped Jesus. watching it. Yeah. Well, I felt like this two hours flowed way more than any other show that we've seen in, in the X-Factor. So you're saying that Steve Jones is just, because you were telling me from his old stuff, he's he's funny, but that first episode of The Live, he was so boring, you know, and, and you think they're in his, you know, the network execs or whatever are telling him to be more loose or Right, whatever. yeah, a lot of the boards are talking about replacing him or, and to even bring Brian Seacrest in and all this stuff, and I said, give the guy a chance. I've seen his stuff. He used to host a huge show out in, in Britain uh, called, uh, was it T4? And he's excellent. He's funny. He's hilarious. He's off the cuff. Good looking guy. I mean, yeah. I'm sure the ladies don't come. Compl- I don't even remember the host of guy. But, and, and that's good because oh, Ryan, know. actually, Ryan was really part of American Idol. He's just making the show move along. So like you said, yeah. he's just kind of in and out, makes you know, makes a statement and moves the show along, which is what a host is supposed to do. Yeah. So that's why I kind of I thought the show flowed really well because of that, what you didn't see. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, no, I I mean, they they've been doing a lot of comparisons with everybody with American Idol and X Factor. I think that's what kind of what they wanted. You know, but with is it yeah? Is it the same show? Is it a better show? You know, well, chemistry wise. Anyway, I mean, I, the guy doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? He's he's sharp. He's he's on his game. I don't um, even remember him. See, that's the thing. Like, but but Ron Seacrest, y'all. I mean, when he first started American Idol, he had another host with him, and then that host went bye bye because what was he's it? like Br- oh. Brian Ryan Dunkelman. Brian yes. Dunkelman. Yeah. He is yeah. oh, kicking yeah. himself. Oh, I saw him. Oh, no, God, no, I actually house, saw, no. Upset. I've seen him do comedy at the Laugh Factory, and he talks all about that whole he thing. He has to. And that's his way like, to deal with it. Like it's like <laughs> like I feel like one day he's just gonna end it all. It's really it is like the worst terrible comedy you'll ever watch. Oh, and it's actually oh, like it really like you sweat yourself like because he, he talks all about it. Yeah. That is so sad. Yeah. That is painful. Oh my God! Anyhow, what do we think about the judges' banter? Um, they're kind of picking on each other. What was it? Simon got on it. Nicole a lot. It's all set up, you know, of course. So. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fun. If a it little. was anybody, they would get on Nicole. Like. Yeah, she things that come out of her she mouth. She clearly is the least interesting. They, I'm yeah. just like, Didn't that they was kind of mean when Simon was like, excuse me, grown-ups are talking. I liked it. I'm sorry, uh, I liked it. I thought it was funny. I loved it. I'm like... <laughs> Maybe she's out of her league to be judging on this show. You know you what? Know? She just, she needs a coach. Yeah. <laughs> like, a coach yeah, yeah, right. needs a coach no, to be also, a coach. She you, needs but like do you really catch feel phrases like, and things to say because like the things that come off the top of her down, head, they have it down there. Like, I felt no. I they feel have I feel like say. she almost said stuff that she had written down and tried to make it well, sound you know natural what? and wasn't natural. If that was stuff she thought up beforehand, ding, that's ding, sad. Ding, ding. Yeah. So you're saying we should send her off the source? That's even worse. No, she she needs somebody in her ear well, saying, "Okay, say this." <laughs> First of all, Paul is way more seasoned at yeah. this than Paul is really doing good at this season. Yeah, she's really good. I mean, but you know, she didn't and I, I, forever. Yeah. And then you know, L. A. Reid is just cool as shit. And then you L. know, Reed's kind of an ass. I know that's I, great. I, I like watching L. A. Reid. I love it. I, I mean, I appreciate I, him. I respect I like him. him. He's an amazing music mogul and all it's that weird. stuff. But he is like being kind of special. Really? Like, yeah. Like the things that he says. I mean, he too is, much or what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you know Nicole's what? the like, counterbalance. Are sensitive people. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you guys are saying how everyone is so great and they're so polished. So maybe we need that. Like you know, Good point. Nicole's a little, you know, a little. She's new, wet behind the ears, so she doesn't always say the right thing, and that might just. She doesn't say anything. That's the problem. Yeah. Whether oh, she does right right. It's not that. It's also yeah. that weird delivery. She could talk about carrying a cup, but she she's like, she's like, Marcy. <laughs> Here, here, I see your like vision. Marcy, here is the cup. 
or eat my pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. And I was like, what is she what doing? What is that? No, for Josh, That's what I'm saying. she, she was already those. crying. Yeah. She was already crying before it even like started. I swear. I was like. I know. It's weird. It's It was weird. Yeah. And almost like she I'm was like, prepping herself to cry. Yeah. She's like, okay, acting 101. What do I think about now while he's singing so I can start crying now? Oh, God. It's already coming out. And then her eyelashes <laughs> on both lids, top and bottom. Do you notice that? Everybody's doing the top and bottom right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I felt like they were going to fall <laughs> off and slide down her that. face. I did. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all, I think I she's beautiful. I like Nicole is beautiful without too. all that stuff. I don't, I don't even know why she needs to put that on her face. Now, so. I did hear, now we were talking about scoops and stuff and like tablets and stuff. Now, there's a yeah, rumor of actually that Steve and Nicole, Nicole are hooking up. Who's Steve? The host. The host. Oh. <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're, you're really missing that one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, tables do turn, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Steve has not made an impression on me. Really? I guess he's made one on Nicole. But you made you made an impression on me, so I'll never forget your name, Marcy. I promise. That's fantastic. Oh my God, y'all are so fun. I've had so much fun working yeah. with y'all tonight. Oh my gosh, we've already wrapped up our show. I can't believe it. it was like I can't fast, either. Yeah. It was fast, but you know, I look forward to seeing who's going to get you off. We're going to um, predictions now. Let's. Um, Let's go uh, around the bat, around around the circle. We're and saying see. who's vo- getting voted yep, off. who's oh, going to get voted uh, off? Chris Renee for me. Chris Renee for you. Mm-hmm, I say time. I say Leroy. Uh, according to Marcy, she thinks Steve's going to get voted off. So, but I'm going to go <laughs> with Leroy. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going with Leroy because you don't remember him. He's right with Steve, unfortunately. I'm going to say Chris, but my wish list is intensity. Oh, okay. we know, we know no. you, Miss Francis. You know what? You just hate little kids. That's your part. You I hate kids. kids. And Not it's funny, those ones. We've talked about every every performer, but intensity we scooped right over. We're just like none of us had any intensity. Oh, I liked about intensity. Them. Oh my god! Wait a second. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was gonna say because I don't like them. Um, Dakota Ray. <laughs> Dakota Ray. <laughs> My new group. Dakota Ray. I just think because they're pretty, they'll be on for a while. Yeah, no, yes. I agree with you. We like pretty. Well, and their yeah. their lane is different than others, so yes. they'll have a whole group of people that are following that exactly. particular yeah. sound. I want to keep all the um the seasons. <laughs> yes, the seasons will. The seasons. Oh be God. All four of them. Shoot me in the head. That was Apollo's one. That was like dang. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. That was a fail. It was a fail, part, but yeah. I, I'm sure that next week's will be, woo, hot. Skippy, Skippy shorts like Simon wants. Mm-hmm. Especially the Something. brunette. Like yeah. Ronnie Jr. Yes. Especially the brunette. Yes. <laughs> I'm just curious to see Ronnie what she does with it. I need to find out if the brunette is of age because you're creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Once she's of age, I'm with you. I'm like, go for it. I wish you the best. <laughs> and here's a bombshell for next week. I think Josh is going to be like the sixth the Backstreet Boy, and we just never knew about it. Who? Josh? Josh. Oh, the, the burrito dirty, boy. The burrito maker. maker. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be his makeover. That's gonna no. We're gonna find out that he was like the Backstreet Boy we knew nothing of. Oh, he you know, oh, yeah. since everyone's done and something. They told him to get lap band and he wouldn't, so they kicked him out. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And you go always back to the lap. That band. is gonna be in <laughs> Star tomorrow. <laughs> I know, I think that's how shit gets started if, if right say, there. If we say enough stuff on this like, <laughs> iTunes, you know, it. all of a sudden it will be a rumor. What other rumors do we want to start? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, we'll have more rumors for next week because we will all be back next Wednesday. So now it's Wednesday and Thursday night is X Factor, correct, And is it Jesse? really two hours and two hours? Yes. Is yes. So we'll only be, be covering a Wednesday night yeah, and only, we'll do the recap. Only on Wednesday and we'll do the recap for Thursday for next week. So it's getting exciting. It's a good show. I'm excited that all of y'all are here tonight mm-hmm. and we can all sit here and gossip and bash every single person on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and praise support. them. And, support, and praise. Yeah. And the yes. show's doing better. You said the ratings were going up, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, they are, and they were renewed, as Simon said. And yes. I think they're getting like 13 million, so it's slowly coming up. And but now that you said it was going to go live, yes. so it'll get more interest. People are going to be calling in, voting, and watching. I think. So. I mean, I always, for me, I always try to pay attention to like not trends necessarily, but like things on Facebook and Twitter. And now you, this was the one week where people got more into it because they could vote now. So yeah. when, when you didn't have that element, you're the just interaction. Everyone's is key. watching, and that's cool. But now, last week was the first, you know, big right. live week, which was cool. But now you could vote, so people. I've already seen all over Facebook, you know, people writing their mm-hmm. opinions. So hopefully it gets bigger and bigger, you know? Okay. 
Well, that's a wrap, y'all. So thanks, everybody, for coming in and listening to us tonight. And <laughs> <laughs> can I get someone on the couch next week next to me? I can come sit over there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> really early. Oh, no, it might be a She's cat fight. She's going to need more room for her guitar. I will. I will. We'll, we'll, we'll have a little jam session next week. So anyway, um, we'll see y'all next Wednesday mm-hmm. with um, Marcy, Jessica, Ronnie Jr., and JC, and Jesse Janity yeah. in the booth. And as you guys go out, I want you guys to, I'm going to play this clip of Misha be a contestant currently in the UK ah. X Factor, just so you can see the how much I need the US X Factor to step it up. Step oh, up. game okay. up. So Thank you, on our way Jesse. out, guys, here's a little treat. Shall we dance too? We get to hear it too. <laughs> Mind you, she's only 15 years old. Oh, wow. Gosh. This is why. There's a fire what? What? <laughs> oh. oh. yep. oh this is like a whole different show. Me at the dark. Looks like Jennifer and this Hudson. was their first live performance. Yeah, she's, she, she's Jennifer Hudson looking. Oh, oh better. Why have we not seen this? Look at the child. Some hybrid child. child. It's like a, oh, it's like a Tia Tolliver that sings like on pitch. She's phenomenal. And even the dancers too. Yes. Like. Yes. Yes. Good. yes. There the chill. Chill. It's right there. Unbelievable. All right, ready? Listen to this. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Is an under 18 girl? 15. 15. Okay, so all of you are out there who are not watching what we're watching right now, there is a girl from the UK. On the X Factor 15, never seen anything like this in my life. She's destroying it. This is what America needs to do. Jesse, you have been holding out on me. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna be on YouTube like all night now. Like. I know. No, no, no. As, Did she win? No, no. This is it's going on right on now. Oh. It's, so as our shows get longer, I've been meaning to pull these up. But as our shows get shorter. For our special segment, I want to I want to introduce you guys to some of the people I've been Thank crushing you. over in the awesome, Dude, man. Thank you. Thank you. She's you just made my night. That is amazing. If you think she's amazing, wait until you hear the 14-year-old I have for you next week. Oh. Yeah. Well, we have something to look forward to oh, now, no, don't we? I'll be on YouTube yeah. tonight looking yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. I might just leave my guitar at home. Everyone's no. staying up an extra two hours. <laughs> don't you think they should have like a world global idol or a global star where they no, get these champs from? Much. I think they actually <laughs> tried, to, they tried to do that. They had like a global idol. Yeah, where you get and the people like, from really all yeah? Did yeah. they really? Like you'd have like Kelly Clarkson versus Jack Vision. Yeah, they did that really? one year. It was world idol. And they took all the best American idol people, UK idol, India Idol. They took all the idols and put them together, and it didn't really do. It, yeah, it was awful. That girl killed it. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! Like I've never heard that was anybody amazing. do an Adele song better than Adele. Like I, that yeah. was. Phenomenal. I really thought she was lip singing. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, we, we y'all. Thank you for listening so tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see y'all next week with After Buzz X Factor. Bye, y'all. Bye. Yeah. See you guys. Bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! After Buzz. The views expressed expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.